Hi everyone, it's Dr. Launia here once again. Welcome to this week's video. Today, we shall discuss about another commonly used preservative, sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate, the sodium salt of benzoic acid, is a type of salt-based preservative added to food, beverage, and condiments. It is widely used as an E number of E211 when you look at food label. It appears as a white crystalline chemical. In the food industry, sodium benzoate is used to prevent spoilage from harmful bacteria, yeast, and molds. It helps keep our products shelf-stable for at least about two years from the date of purchase and is used in concentration of less than 0.5% by volume. It also helps maintain freshness in food by helping to slow or prevent changes in color, flavor, pH, and texture. Foods that commonly include sodium benzoate include salad dressings, pickles, sauces, condiments, fruit juices, some wines and snack foods as well. Sodium benzoate is also heavily used by the soft drink industry in production of carbonated drinks due to the demand for high fructose corn syrup in carbonated drinks. Sodium benzoate increases the acidity of soft drinks, which also increases the intensity of flavor from the high fructose corn syrup. Besides its use in processed foods and beverages, sodium benzoate is also added to some medicines, cosmetics, personal care products and industrial products. Sodium benzoate is used as a preservative in some of the over-the-counter and prescription medications, especially in liquid medicines like cough syrup. Additionally, it acts as a pill lubricant and makes tablets transparent and smooth, helping them break down rapidly after you swallow them. Sodium benzoate itself is considered safe and can be used as an antimicrobial agent and flavoring agent in food with maximum usage of 0.1%. The issue is not what sodium benzoate is, it's what sodium benzoate can become. When sodium benzoate is in the presence of ascorbic acid, that is vitamin C, and exposed to elevated temperature or light, the chemicals may interact and create benzene. Benzene is recognized as a carcinogen and is particularly known for attacking bone marrow. Diet beverages are more prone to benzene formation as the sugar in regular sodas and fruit drinks may reduce its formation. The FDA cites a study conducted by the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition from 2005 to 2007 on the amount of benzene in sodas and other beverages. They found that a small number of products sampled contained more than permissible amount of benzene. When these products were reformulated as a result of this study, manufacturers came up with a formulation which contained less than the permissible amount of benzene. The FDA has not published more recent product analysis, but has stated that the low levels of benzene in beverages don't pose a health risk. Long-term studies assessing the relationship between regularly consuming low levels of benzene and cancer risk are still lacking. So the best bet is to stick to fruit smoothies or water. Soft drinks are ultra-processed anyway, but if you do really crave to have a soft drink, it is best to avoid buying soft drinks that list both sodium benzoate and ascorbic acid or its chemical cousin, erythorbic acid. Hope you've benefited from today's video. That's all for today. Thank you. Hey everyone, if you liked today's video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my weekly videos where I shall be empowering you to lead a healthy life. You can also follow me on my Facebook or Insta to get daily health tips and recommend to your loved ones as well. Meanwhile, if you have any questions or feedback, or even any topics that you would like me to discuss, feel free to type in the comment box. Thank you for watching.